I love about Waikiki is it makes me feel like summer vacation in grade school when I used to just spend every second down here at the beach. I started playing volleyball right here on the beaches of Waikiki. Each year I leave to go and compete on the circuit around the world, but when I come back, what's nice to see is Waikiki always has a new face. There's a new restaurant, there's a new club to go to. There's something to do 24 hours a day. Hawaii is the birthplace of surfing. Duke Hanamoku was a great waterman. He got the Beach Boys started. He started the tradition here in Waikiki of teaching people how to surf and taking people out on the canoe. Its endemic creatures and indigenous people began to disappear. People who were stewards of these islands, skilled at adaptation, having evolved out of this magical Aina, one of the most sophisticated societies in Polynesia, whose ancestors explored the entire Pacific centuries before Europeans ventured into the Atlantic Ocean. The ukulele was first set ashore on Hawaii in 1879 by Portuguese immigrants. Islanders were intrigued by this four-stringed musical mystery box. As the Portuguese strummed their wooden brahinas, the locals were captivated, adopted it, and renamed it for their own. Ukulele literally means jumping flea because of the way fingers jumped around the fretboard when played. This is a story of how a land shapes people and how over many years, a few people in turn come to be the keepers of the land. It is a story of cows and horses and cowboys. Cowboys who were the Indians of wild and distant windswept lands. Hawaiian clubs like the Hui Nalu and Ulu Niu keep the ancient legacy of water sports alive. When American writer Jack London arrives in 1908, he is stunned by Waikiki's majestic waves and writes The Royal Sport, a nationally published essay on the art of surfing. Why, they're a mile long, these bullmouth monsters, and they weigh a thousand tons, and they charge into shore faster than a man can run. There's no doubt the landscape on the North Shore is absolutely spectacular. From historic landmarks like the Rainbow Bridge to the lush tropical flora and fauna of Waimea Valley, the North Shore serves as an inspiration to artists and musicians. Creativity thrives in our beautiful community. Aloha, welcome to Oahu, and welcome to Hawaii's only TV news for visitors, the Where TV Hawaii Weekly News. I'm Paul Drews, here to tell you about some of the things that are happening in and around Waikiki. First up is Where to Go, an overview of events and activities happening on Oahu this week. Then we'll have a check of the island weather and a surf report, and we'll even teach you something new with the Hawaiian Word of the Week. And if you happen to miss any part of Where TV Hawaii's weekly news and want to catch it again, this broadcast is repeated throughout the day approximately every two hours. This weekend is packed with great events like this one. The Contemporary Museum at Makiki Heights, which is located about 15 minutes from Waikiki, is holding its art spree. It's become one of the popular summer activities for locals and visitors alike. And from mural painting to face painting, the activity schedule spells fun for all, big and small, in the grand gardens and intimate galleries of the Contemporary Museum. And that brings us to our Hawaiian word of the week, lomi. You may see this word repeated on the menu at your hotel spa when you go in for a treatment, but you may also see it on the menu at a restaurant. Lomi means to rub, knead, massage. When it's lomi salmon, it's on the menu at most luau buffets. It's similar to a tomato salsa or pico de gallo small pieces of raw salmon mixed in. When the word is repeated, lomi lomi, it's a traditional Hawaiian healing style. This form of massage has spread around the globe and can be found on some mainland spa menus as well. The masseuse will not only use fingers and hands, but also wrist and elbows. There's something about getting a lomi lomi massage here in, on Oahu that's extra special. What a relaxing way to enjoy an authentic Hawaiian experience. 
That's what's happening this week on our island of Oahu. Of course, you can't take me with you when you're out and about, but there is a local tour guide with up-to-date information on where to go, what to eat, and what's in store for entertainment and other helpful tips. Look for the Wear Oahu magazine in Waikiki Kiosk. Thanks for tuning in to Wear TV Hawaii, the first TV network for visitors. Again, if you missed any part of the Wear TV Hawaii weekly news and want to catch it again, this broadcast is repeated throughout the day, every day, approximately every two hours. I'm Paul Drews. Aloha.